Hey guys, hey, I'm gonna do a video about uh, the uh, Vanderhagen. I've got the, uh, I think it's the deluxe, it's the pink one, not the white one or the, the glycerin one, but the pink one. Um, so just, I got my uh, puck sitting in the dish that it came with, uh, just soaking in some hot water. I got my uh, brush sitting soaking. I'm just gonna dump out the water from the puck. Take out my uh, brush, uh, shake it a few times. I leave, I, I get it fairly dry, but leave a little bit of water in. Um, I don't know. It's hard to get a little bit of lather with it being a little too dry. I'm using the, the Vanderhagen uh, brush as well. And start swirling on it. It's a, uh, it fills up the brush pretty quickly. Um, and that's about how much I put on. I don't, I don't do the, um, you know, for a minute or something like that. If I leave it kind of wet, it uh, fills up pretty quick. So, and that's how it looks. It gets pretty soaked. Um, and I like to do it a little wet on my face. Um, I feel like I can work it a little bit better that way. But too wet and it... Uh, it just all falls apart on your face, so. We'll just wet our face a little bit here. And, uh, we'll get going here. So. The thing I like about this soap is it um, it doesn't remind me of uh, other soaps I've used. Um, most I use uh, are hard um, triple milled soaps where this is more of a, uh, I guess they call it a, what, a melt and pour type soap. So it's very soft, very creamy. Um, not as soft as like a, uh, the Italian soft soaps or anything, but um, I mean, when you push it down into the bowl, it it puts a little fingerprint in it. Um, but the thing I like about this is when uh, and it's getting pretty good already. Um, it reminds me more of a cream than a, than a soap. It uh, gives a little more cushion. It's not quite as slippery and uh, it doesn't have as so much quite as much glide as a good um, Williams or uh, something like that. But uh, it gets nice and uh, creamy like this, um, and yeah, it just reminds me like I have a lot of uh, Arco soaps, and it reminds me or Arco creams, and it reminds me of that. So if I get it like this, and it's it's a little wet, but I like it like that. It uh, seems to have a little bit more glide, and there's plenty, plenty of soap left over. Um, just set it aside. And this is actually my first video with uh, that I'm actually going to shave in. Um, I just got my uh, DE89 for Christmas from my parents, and I absolutely love it. I love the uh, I love the Gillette Tech. I love the nice uh, mild razors. I put a Rapira blade in it, and it's a. Uh, I think this is my fourth shave with it. I usually get about five shaves out of it. So it uh, super super smooth. It, um, really really gives a good shave. If I could only have one razor it would probably be this. Um, so I, my family, we opened our uh, Christmas presents a little early this year. Um, my brother is uh, going away with his wife uh, to visit her family for Christmas, so uh, we decided to all uh, open presents early. And um, so it was nice. I got this. Um, I haven't uh, opened. Uh, I got an Edwin Jagger uh, a Sea Buckthorn. I think it's Buckthorn. Um, hard soap as well. And I'm really excited to try that. It smells 
incredibly good. And uh, I've seen videos of people online, and it looked like it lathered up pretty good. So I'm excited to try that. I like the hard soaps. So. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. I, uh, I don't have a screen on mine. It's one of the little, uh, like a flip camera. So uh, I can't see what I'm actually doing. Um, I'm going to try to keep this nice and short. Um, hopefully at least half as long as uh, Ant's videos. So, you know. Under two or three millennia should be about right. Um, I normally only do a two pass. I don't usually go for the the uh, baby butt smooth. I uh, I always used a, an electric razor and. Uh, it's so much better than I ever used to get that that's plenty for me and it prevents me from getting any irritation or anything. But there's plenty here for a third pass, no problem. Hopefully, uh, I mean this gives a pretty good shave. I don't usually get uh, any razor burn with it or anything, so hopefully I won't get as caught up as some videos I saw today. And I do, um, oh, maybe a little, a little nick there, but I don't, uh, I don't do against the grain, uh, tends to give me irritation, uh, my face is pretty smooth, I mean, unless I go straight up, I don't feel, I mean, it's, it doesn't feel like there's any hair at, at all there, um, and on my neck, I go straight down, and then I kind of go at a little bit of an angle, and that uh, helps prevent uh, razor burn for me. And that's about it. Um, rinse off my face.
then uh, follow up with my my usual. Um, got uh, my Walmart witch hazel, and uh, I hate the smell of witch hazel, so I put a little bit of a. Of a I think it was. Is it British Sterling or something? Uh, cologne in it. And that, uh, I mean, you can still smell the witch hazel, but it smells a little bit better. It's tolerable. And I have an alum block, but I tend not to use it because I feel like the witch hazel does kind of the same thing. And, uh, I tend to like the results of the witch hazel a little bit better. My face feels uh, smoother, or uh, uh, softer after. And uh, I'll just, I don't, I don't typically do bombs or anything. Um, they, they tend to give me ingrown hairs, but uh, I followed up with a macho, my fake uh, um, aftershave. It's the fake brute. Um, I'm almost out, but I just bought a case online, so I got I got a box of twelve of them sitting in the closet. That's it. Um, I don't know how long that was. I hope it's shorter than ants. Uh, I'd hate for my first one to be uh, <sighs> longer than Lord of the Rings done by Peter Jackson. So, um, You guys have a wonderful night, and uh, if I don't make another one, uh, have a Merry Christmas. Talk to you guys later.